My mother and my father developed the recipe back on the Big Island. I used to go delivering with my father. As I got older, then he started letting us play in the bakery. And uh, that's my first experience touching the dough and also tasting the product. The Tyra family has been baking their signature Hawaiian sweet bread products since the 1950s. As the bread's popularity has grown, so have their operations. Over the years, they've gone from a 30,000 square foot bakery to a 150,000 square foot production facility, and their amazing growth has continued. In 2003, we also built a new plant in Torrance, California. We actually run two lines there, 12,000 pounds an hour. Since then, our production grew and our demands grew, so that's why we decided to come out here in Atlanta and open a new facility. So as a, as a family-owned business, the owners were able to walk out of their office, you know, pinch the dough, see the dough, smell the dough, feel the dough. We look at the texture of the product, the quality of the product, and we have certain specifications. To help maintain the quality of the King's Hawaiian product, the California team wanted to have the ability to remotely access production. I wanted a, a centralized control system. So we needed components out in the plant floor that would eventually get us to a more centralized control design. We want to keep everybody on the same platform. That's our company motto. Everything is all Allen Bradley. We were able to go ahead and identify standards for the process control equipment as far as HMIs, PLCs, methods of programming, standards of how HMI screens are developed. King's Hawaiian and Bachelor Controls standardized on Rockwell Automation integrated architecture to leverage the benefits of the Logix Control platform. Because we have more technology as far as you know what we get from Allen Bradley and we can see it on site at our other facility, we're there in real time. We knew that we wanted to connect all the OEMs to a central SCADA where we could uh, then uh, overlay Historian and SQL and Vantage Point. We have a central point of development for all the screens in a plant and as a screen is developed that screen is then sent out to every HMI that's attached to it. The functional spec was done ahead of time so everybody was developing under the same standards. From there, we could reuse a lot of the objects and the software allows us to really create screens very quickly and to be able to use objects on multiple screens. The BCI system has allowed us to have almost a plug and play situation here. By having these standards out to the vendors, when we got their equipment here, we were able to uh, to bring it all together much more quickly. When we do factor acceptance testing, the customer can actually see what their screen's gonna look like and how it will react when they're actually in production. The learning curve was minimized because of how user-friendly the HMIs are. With 11 different OEMs, scalability was important. Integrated architecture provided a cost-effective, logics-based solution. Today, I can see the technology has changed a lot. Everything has gotten a lot smaller, a lot faster, and has more capability. We really looked at what we were doing, and some of the people in packaging, for example, are really very simple systems, so we were able to scale them down to a compact logics and a panel view plus. The more information and the more data points we can collect, uh, the better decisions we can make. What we're trying to do here is ultimately look to move the needle. If you can move it a half percentage point or one percentage point with respect to OEE, that one percentage point is a lot of finished product out the door. The Vantage Point tool will allow King's Hawaiian to use the historian data that's been logged. So we want to see a trending value of an oven temperature then that's being generated right out of the historian. And the system allows us to identify the time before a piece of equipment is starting to fail. We spent a great deal of time up front detailing the expectations, what's it gonna look like in the end. So when we get ready to execute, the execution is just follow the roadmap. And at the end, we've always gotten the results that we've expected to get. This is the 11th production line I've started. And without a doubt, this was the most successful of the 11 production lines. I have to admit, I do sleep a lot better knowing that the equipment is running and I have all, these, all the technology there today. 
It makes it so much simpler to, for me to operate and for me to actually see what's going on.